Internet, good morning. My name is Pokemon Trainer Steve, aka Magnitude, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun or Moon Wi Fi battle. If you guys enjoy these videos and you want to leave a like, it shows me that you really appreciate what I do, and it makes me feel better about not taking that one shot of bleach that's just hanging. I'm not going to try to get you to like in the video, guys. If you enjoy it, please leave a like. If not, that's fine as well. Got a question of the day. I appreciate answers to that. I like comments. Battle my good friend Kyle A. His link is in the description. Be sure you check out his channel. He's got a lot of great Pokemon stuff. But I got a battle that I had on my stream. I stream one to three nights a week Pokemon battles. If you're interested in being a part of this. And of course, check out the streams. I have Necrozma, Palisand, Serena, Toga Tomorrow, Logan Muck, and Tapu Finney. My opponent has Typhlosion, Amoga, Dugtrio, Toxapex, Frostlass, and Alolan, uh, Alolan... Alolan Ninetales, non-Alolan uh, Dugtrio, so you gotta be aware the fact it's gonna have Rain Trap and not that little freaking, you know, little little hair. Little stick of blonde hair. Either way, I live with Necrozma. He's got Stealth Rocks, and if he wants to lead with... He's left hand. How do you get a left-handed Avatar? That's... I don't know. The little nuance of this game would make it amazing. He goes for a Burn-Up, and I'm sure I'm gonna live this. Burn-Up is a solid... I'm sure... Yeah. Gonna leave that shit. And I, again, guys... Uh, Again, just getting my Stealth Rock stuff. want to be sure to have that actual advantage as the battle goes on, getting that damage in the land. I love that some of the, like, every game they introduce new things that stretch the mechanics of this game. And one of those was Burnout that makes them not typeless. It's awesome. I love that. So I'm going to get the Misty Surge, which of course means things on the ground can now be fed as as long as the Misty Surge continues to go. He's actually going to fire off a Hidden Power. It looks like it's going to be Hidden Power Grass. is a lot of damage to me. He is Life Orb. But I can take another one of those. I could probably take two more of those, possibly even three, depending on the damage variation that he's going to be able to get. But I do have the advantage in the situation. He knows that I know the whole stream watching knew it. So he goes to his low on Ninetales, and you know the one thing Ninetales wants to do now all the time is get up that goddamn Aurora Veil. Okay, it's so fucking annoying. You can't stop it. And so I taught him. I taught. I knew he was gonna do that shit. I knew he was gonna do that shit on the way in. I'm like, he was gonna do. He's gonna bring in nine tails. He's not gonna be able to get off that Aurora Veil. So I, I got him. I snagged him. I, I, I captured him like he's a little fucking squirrel, and he's he's terrorizing my children that I have in the story. And I just fucking I grabbed my tail, and I just I just fucking I got him. Doesn't matter. So now he goes into an actual squirrel, and that is a Molga. I just fired up a Moonblast. Figure there's no way I'm not gonna Moonblast. It's gonna do a lot of damage no matter what. So I now I realize he's probably faster than me, and I don't also don't want to get possibly nuzzled. I don't want any of that to happen. I just want to make sure this type of thing stays around because I know I'm gonna need it to deal with that typhlosion later in the game because Necrozma's already weak. And Tabu Finney is my one true answer to that. So I know that gotta keep it around. Uh, but then I think, you know what? Because we're because we're actually in a stream, like we're in the same call battle. I'm mean, you know what? I, I the switch here might be so obvious. I'm talking it up that he's gonna predict me to switch and not go for Gigavolt Havoc, or not go for electric type attack, but he does go for one, so I thought myself into a solution, and I figured on stream would style with this solid prediction, and, because again, him and I are talking during the call, like, we're in a call on a stream while it's going on, so I thought, you know what, we were going back and forth, and uh, he made his play, and I'm racking my brain, going, okay, you know I have to switch here, you know I need to switch here. Uh, but Togunamaru is coming in. He actually goes for an acrobatics, and he's going to hurt himself with a spiky shield in Dado spiky shield. So that's nice. But that is going to allow him a free switch in the Doug Trio, which kind of sucks because that is going to trap Togunamaru. That is just going to trap Togunamaru. The mist goes away. We still got the hail for another turn, so it's going to break a Petra Focus Sash if he has one. So uh, here comes Doug Trio, and uh, I'm going to go for a spiky shield. I kind of want to see if he's choice, what he's going to lock himself into. If anything, he's going to go for maybe a... If he went for like, an, like a, a work up there, that would have been awful. If he went for an agility there, that would have been awful. But uh, he does not go for either of those things. And uh, instead, uh, Togo tomorrow is pretty much just going to die. There's like there's like no way around this. So I just have to ex I just, I just have to accept it. My little buddy Togo tomorrow, you, you, you really you did a lot. You, you got to kill with Spiky Shield. Not a lot of Mons have it on the resume. If you were to look up like all of like Mew's accomplishments ever, they'd be fucking awesome. They'd be like created the Pokemon universe, can learn literally every move, but gotta kill with Spiky Shield? I don't fucking think so. Togemaru's got that shit on lock. So we go to Serena, and he's got a switch. He's not want to get drop kicked in the face. He knows that. So he goes into Typhlosion, and I'm a Scarf Serena. Uh, he's Life Orb. I now can outspeed him. Can two drop kicks plus the hail. Now obviously I know he's got the icy rock. So two Trop Kicks can definitely take... Now, he should have seen right there because the hail hit me first. 
he should have known that I would be faster. But you know Kyle, you know Kyle, trying to style, he's taking a, a, a page out of my book. Uh, I come so fucking close to killing him, and he goes for a Will-O-Wisp. Now, my Serena is effectively crippled. My Serena's one job now for the remainder of this game is to just click Trop Kick until I'm dead. There's nothing else. I may burn Serena. I have no Heal Bell. I have no aromatherapy. I have no way to get this burn off Serena, who is primarily a physical attacker. I have one job here. That is to continuously click Trop Kick. Now, unfortunately for Kyle, he over he overvalued Serena. Um, he gets eight more turns of Hail Up, which I could benefit his side because he has that Frost Last. But he actually thought that I was going to switch out here. And he's going to catch me by going to Doug Trio. But all I'm doing is clicking Trop Kick. I, I'm not going to say I predicted that. I'm not going to try to give myself credit for a play that was made that didn't happen. All I'm doing is clicking Trop Kick, dealing damage until I'm dead. So I was able to kill off Doug Trio because he just predicted too much. He thought I was going to try to save Serena and go into a Mon on the Ninetales. Nah. See, now he's going to go into his, his Frost Last. And once again, we have a standard protocol. And that protocol is just... But he's faster than me, so... I am going to die. There's no way I'm not going to... Just, that's just what happens. He's got Ice Beam on a Frost Last in the hail. Kyle! You got you, you to gotta have Blizzard. But I got Muck. Muck is a solid answer to this. And uh, I guess he thought I was going to go into Muck on the Ninetales, but why would I do that when he's got to he's got Tox Specs. Now, Tox Specs, I've, I've said ever since Sun and Moon came out, ever since I've seen it have life in a competitive Wi-Fi battle, that Tox Specs is going to be super goddamn annoying. And before Pokebank came out, the only actual switch into this thing was like fucking Kamala. And it was great. Kamala had a job. Kamala was useless. It had comatose. It couldn't be poisoned. It was built to take on Tox Specs. But I predict him to Baneful Bunker or Recover here. That's fine. Because I have a secret anti Toxapex weapon, guys. This Necrozma was built in a lab, studied for years for this one specific purpose. How can we fuck up an entire race of Toxapex with one mod? I'm like, Dr. Zero, Android Necrozma, we're doing it. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Toxapex, I want you to look closely and I want you to take notes at what's happening because all future offspring give me the same fate. Shit, it's sick. The Krugman, 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 I'm like a Richard Simmons workout tape. The Krugman, the Krugman, the Krugman, the Krugman, get out of here, get out of here, Toxapex. I fucking hate Toxapex. I have been proclaiming how much I, my disdain for that Pokemon for years. And I did it, Psychium Z, the Krugman, and that is how you deal with it. Obviously, we have, uh, obviously... We have Frostlass coming in here, and obviously it's going to be able to take on the Necrozma and deal with it just fine. going to take me out, whatever. We go into Palisand, and uh, I got a little little secret weapon here. Now, I wish Palisand was faster to make use of this, but he's not. So he Shadow Balls me, and Palisand d does a solid job, gets the weakness policy up, and I'm able to just clean, clean cleave. A solid cleave, an immaculate... And the crowd goes wild. The home run, the death, there goes... If I was, I wish I was faster. I wish I could run like weakness policy, agility on this thing or something like that. But he goes into Ninetales. And it's, you know, it's always got left. He, said he doesn't have a lot left. You know, he's he's been he's been battered and beaten and bruised. And he is going to take out Palace. And obviously he's not going to miss the Blizzard and the Hail. That is what the Hail does. It allows Blizzard to not miss. Taking notes, kids, on your quiz. So we go into Muck. And uh, Muck is going to go ahead and just, just take out that Ninetales. He's going to Moonblast me. Fine. I'm going to live this. There's no way I'm not living it. I'm a Muck. I'm a Salt Vest. I Poison Jab. The Ninetales goes down. That has been this Wi-Fi bad. If you guys enjoyed it again, please leave a like. Up in the top, uh, your right-hand corner, I got some other of my videos for other channels. If you want to check those out, be sure to click on those. And I will see each and every one of you guys next time. Good night.